well, the owner of this place, his name is Marcello, 20 years ago, he was married, had two kids, twin girls, you know. <laughs> One night, he walks in on his wife in bed with another man. What? Yeah. I mean, obviously he wants a divorce. But the thing is, he had like a really shady past before all this stuff happened. And so his wife brings all of that, uses it against him in court. Judge takes away everything. He loses his house. He loses custody of the girls. He lost his job because he was in court all the time, right? Like he just lost everything, you know? And that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that as soon as he's out of the house, okay, she moves the other guy, the guy who she's sleeping with, no. into the house. And they get engaged. Like they're going to get married, okay? <laughs> guy's devastated devastated because like they were like high school sweethearts you know like they knew each other for a long time they had their first kiss together you know they they lost their virginities together right yeah. they would be like Romeo and Juliet if Romeo didn't just mess everything up and kill Tibble you oh, know no I'm sorry I always blame the friar <laughs> <laughs> that is true like you can't trust a messenger with that kind of information it's too exactly. important you know exactly. <laughs> anyways Marcello he's not taking it well you know, obviously, like, he doesn't even go see his daughters anymore because the thing is, they just remind him of her, and he can't handle it. It's sad. Yeah, it's really sad. So, he gets news that it's their wedding night, and he's drinking himself into a stupor. I mean, he's depressed, and he's suicidal. He's done. You know, he's ready to go. So, he gets a rope, and he ties a noose, and he puts his head in it, and <laughs> right then... Knock at the door. Okay, knock at the door. He goes, and it's her. It's her <laughs> in her wedding dress, okay? Pouring rain, and she's soaking, okay? And she's crying. She's crying. She can't even. She's just begging him, please, please take me back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, he is overwhelmed. I mean, he wants to slap her. He wants to scream at her. He wants to kill her. But he can't. He can't because after everything she's done to him, he just cares about her too much still. He can't go on without her. So he doesn't say anything. He just, he just leans in and he just kisses her soft, wet lips. And the rain stops right there at that moment. <laughs> I mean, they get back together and the family's reunited and he wants to do something new so he opens his coffee shop for her because that's what they used to love to do they used to love to have coffee in the morning and he set out to make the best cup of coffee in the city and so it only made sense that they call that place lucinda's <laughs> wow you know wow. how do you know all of this Made it up. Um, I'm sorry, what did you say? You you made it um, up? Yeah, I made it up. Yeah. <sighs> to be honest, I actually I've actually never been here before. Are you hungry? Like do you wanna do you wanna get a burrito or something? Because I know the best burrito place in the city. Uh, okay. I don't... Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. You're buying that.